Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Community Presbyterian Church of Ben Avon. It is so good to have you here tonight for Christmas Eve. Who's excited? Me. <laughs> well, you came to the right service. So children are welcome to make noises, to move around. That's what this service is all about. So adults, you have some special bags, and they're marked accordingly. So when um, the other innkeeper... Samuel and Sarah, when we are looking for items, we will call out that item. So then please take it out of the bag and have it ready for the kids to find as we walk around. Okay, so I think we're all set. Um, I, lastly, as we are having worship tomorrow morning, if anyone wants to get up and come, that will be at 1030 and also on New Year's Day. And so, friends, let us start then with the Christmas litany that is printed there in your bulletin. Christmas is a time to proclaim the good news. We proclaim a joy that is stronger than any despair. Joy. We proclaim a hope that is stronger than any trial. We proclaim a peace that is stronger than any conflict. Joy to the world. We proclaim a love that is stronger than any hate. We proclaim a light that is stronger than any darkness. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Tonight we light all the candles of the end and leaf. The first candle ignites the thrill of hope in the hearts of weary people. Not 
Let's go on out so I don't think it looks funny. The second candle. The second candle restores the deep peace that passes understanding into a conflicted and confused world. The third candle expresses the joy of fulfilled promises and the anticipation of those yet to come. The fourth candle reflects God's deep and abiding love for us and reminds us to love one another. And tonight we light the Christ candle in celebration of the Messiah's birth. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and his name shall be Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. As God's promises continue to shine, we echo the words shared throughout the ages. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Sing and heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing joy to the earth the Savior Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders, wonders of his love. Please join me in the prayer of adoration. Holy God, on this holy and joyful night we gather to sing with angels, rejoicing in your work, to sing with shepherds, amazed at your glory, to wait with Joseph, trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary, cradling your love. May the good news of this night inspire us to tell the world of our great joy, for to us is born a Savior, the Messiah, the Lord. Glory and praise to you forever. Amen. And now a reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verses 1 and 2 and 6. A shoot shall come out of the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and lion and the fat fatling together and the little kid shall lead them. Oh, 
Samuel, Samuel, where are you? Samuel, what are you doing? Uh, packing. Uh, I don't see anything in your boxes. And we've got to pack. We are leaving Bethlehem tomorrow. You know we're leaving the inn because we're going to go to Innkeeper's Academy so we can learn how to teach other people how to be innkeepers. And we've got to get packing. I know, I know. I was. I really was. I, I admit that I was packing and then I did get distracted. I found this amazing book. Well... What does it say? What well, is it? It's the Bible. And here's what it says. It says, In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, darkness covered the face of the deep. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. I'm hooked. It's a page turner. I can't put it down. <laughs> well, well, what else does it say? Well, in here I've been reading about covenants and commandments, prophets and promises. Well, what do the prophets promise? They promise hope. Here, listen to this part. God's spirit that created the world will rest on us and also with the wolf who shall live with the lamb and a little child shall lead them. Who is this little child? Well, I, I don't know yet. That's in the second testament. I haven't quite gotten there yet. Well, wait a second. Wolf and lamb? That reminds me. Where are our animals? The cow? The donkey? The sheep? Oh my, where did they go? We've got to find them so we can take them with us. Who let the sheep out? Ba ba. Who let the sheep out? Ba. <laughs> Very yeah. funny, Samuel. I think we're going to need some help. Are there any kids out there that can help us go around and find our animals so we can take them with us? If we could have some help, if all the friends, come all on, of our little friends. friends could come forward and help us, we'd like to look. Do we have some helpers? All right, friends, we're going to go this some way and look for the come animals. Help we're Whenever you find follow, one, go ahead and pick Sarah. it up. Follow Sarah. Come with us. Come with us. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I carried his mother up hill and down. I carried his mother to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey, shaggy and brown. I said the cow all white and red, I gave him my manger for his bed, I gave him a pillow to rest his head, I said the cow all white and red. I said the sheep with curly horn, I gave him my wool for his blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I said the sheep with curly horn. Thus all the beasts, by some good spell, in the stable dark were glad to tell of the gifts they gave Emmanuel. The gifts they gave Emmanuel. Tonight, I'm reading Luke 2, 3 through 14. Listen to the word. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, the second chapter, beginning with the third verse. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descendant from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, 
the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in a band of cloth and lay him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens and on earth. Peace among those whom he favors. Ah, see, Sarah, I told you. I told you our friends would be able to help us get all our animals, get them all together. We got everybody collected. Oh, except that donkey. That's right. When we were walking, I saw this pregnant woman, and she was just struggling. So I lent her the donkey, Sarah. Is that okay? Sa Sarah? Sarah? Oh, oh, sorry, Samuel. Now I'm hooked on this book, too. I know. What were you reading? I've been reading about angels. Angels? I I've never seen an angel. Well, neither have I, but people see them in this book all the time. Well, what do they look like? What do they say? Well, angels are sent by God to people on earth with messages. In this story, angels visit shepherds and bring a message of peace. Listen to this. An angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. That's a message I, I'd like to hear. You know, we're moving away from our inn where we've been for 10 years. I'm, I'm a little afraid of that. Me too. We've made such good friends here. They've become like family. Family, family will miss. I'm, I'm wondering if those angels might be able to help us. Well, I hope that they can find a new innkeeper to take care of the people. Yeah. I'm sure they will, because in this book it reminds us that whenever people are afraid, that's when the angels come to reassure them that and give them peace so maybe it would help if we found some angels and then maybe we would not be afraid so you think we could find some angels to take with us pack them in the boxes well and that might be the first box that you pack samuel very funny sarah very funny so friends can you come and help us find some angels we need some more help finding angels we're gonna go this way with sarah we're gonna On high, sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Shepherds, why this jubilee? Why your joyous strains prolong? What the gladsome tidings be which inspire your heavenly song? Gloria in excelsis Deo. Bethlehem and see him whose birth the angels sing 
Come adore on bended knee, Christ the Lord, the newborn King. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. And so we come into this place also with, I'm sure, lots of joy in our hearts this night and even maybe some cares and concerns. And so we offer them to God in prayer. So let us pray. O Holy One, you come to us in our need, in our mess, to this low, rough manger you come. In the continued stress of a pandemic and political distress and racism and climate crisis, you come. To people who are weary and depressed, you come to people who are broken, to those who are lost, to people who are tired of fighting, weary of insisting, exhausted from trying, you come. You come to us. We are amazed and we are so grateful for this gift, not that the vision is fulfilled, but that you come. And so we give thanks that you come to share our struggle, to hurt and to hope with us, to bring hope, peace, joy, and love we rejoice. Come, beloved, come. Come and help us to see you. We want to see you in those who love us well and in those we've never talked to. We want to see you not only in our family who look like us and think like us, but in those who come from very different places and positions in life. We want to see you in the glow of candles and familiar carols we sing tonight in the kids wound tight with contagious, joyful energy. Joy and hope are in the air, so thick we could bottle it up. Help us to take it with us from here so that we have it with us enough to share with others. O oh, Holy One, we want to see you today, tomorrow, and every day. In Jesus, you came as the babe called Emmanuel, God with us. And so believing you are with us always in Jesus, we pray the prayer he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Reading from the Gospel of Matthew, the second chapter. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over a place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid homage to him. Wow, that was amazing. We found so many angels, a multitude of them. I'm going to pack them up and take them with us so that when we get to the new place, when we're afraid, we can take out the angels and remind us to not be afraid. Samuel, Samuel, what are you doing now? Oh, well, I, yep, I was reading again in the book, um, but I, I also packed a box. Whoa, 
Look at this big box you packed. You must be so tired. I did take a break after yeah, that yeah. and got caught back up in the book again. But I was reading it, and here's what it says in this story. Magi from the east came to Bethlehem asking, where is the child who's been born king of the Jews? Well, that's where we are in Bethlehem. So a child is born here? It, it goes on. They set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen in the east until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. Magi? Kings? Here in Bethlehem? Yeah, right here in Bethlehem. This child must have been really important and brought a lot of joy. Wow. And they followed a star to lead them to the child. Well, that's what I was looking for up in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, I... That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> it's incredible, right? So that's what I was looking for. Well, I don't see any stars in the sky tonight. It's so dark. But if we find that star, we could find that child. Right. So, well, maybe our friends could help us find some stars. What do you think? I think that'd be really great. They've been helpful so far. Yeah, Let's ask them yeah. again. Friends, can you help us look high and low and find some stars wherever we go? Oops. Let's go this way. of Orient are, bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading still proceed guide us to thy perfect lot. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. King forever, ceasing never, over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright westward leading still proceeding guide us to thy perfect light The reading from the Gospel of Matthew continues. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Following the example of the wise men, let us offer our gifts to our God, who has given us the precious gift of his son, Jesus. As they did then, let us now give generously and joyfully. And the, the loose offering this evening uh, will go toward the Christmas joy offering. Just so you know. Okay. Sorry. That's right. Thanks.
Shepherds quake at the sight. Glory stream from heaven afar. Oh, heavenly hosts sing Alleluia. Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, silent night, holy night, wondrous star, lend thy light with the angels let us sing alleluia to our king christ the savior is born christ the savior is Please join me in the prayer for a dedication. God of every good and perfect gift, we thank you for the great gift, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In this season when so many gifts are given and received, we pray that you will receive the gifts we offer now. Bless them to bring love and joy to all people. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, beginning with verse 15. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them with her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Wow, we found so many stars. We're going to take them with us. This is so great. But we still didn't find the star of stars that the Magi followed to the child. Where could that be? Uh, Samuel, what are you doing? We're supposed to be packing the boxes, not unpacking the boxes. I know, I know. But you remember that pregnant woman I saw when we were out walking? Yeah, her name was Mary. That's right. It was Mary and Joseph. Yeah. And they were walking, and, well, they wanted a room in the inn. And since it's so full of boxes, I put them in the stable out back. And you know how cold it is tonight. So I was looking for a blanket that I could give them so that they'd stay warm through the night. You know, I know it's not frankincense and gold or myrrh, but it is a gift from the heart. Oh, Samuel, that's so nice of you. Just like God tells us to show love. That's wonderful. So you're saying I'm loving? Could, could you say that again? You are a Samuel. But God also tells us to be humble. Oh, well, yes, that's true. Well, what else does the story say? Well, it says, after the angels told them to not be afraid, the shepherds said, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, 
which the Lord has made known to us. But we're here in Bethlehem. I wonder what it was that the Lord was going to make known to them. Was it a star? Even better. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Wait, Mary and Joseph and... Sarah, look! It's <gasps> them! Wow, look at that! It's what this story is all about. God's word made flesh. The baby in the manger is the child that the prophets foretold, that the angels announced, that the magi followed the star to find. His name is Jesus. He's the light of the world, God's love born unto us. That is amazing. Is, is that something that we can take with us? Well, here's the good news of great joy. His name is Emmanuel, and that means God with us. So wherever we go, he'll be with us? Wherever we go, God goes with us, packing up hope and peace and joy and love. That seems like really good news that we just can't keep to ourselves. No, I think we have to share it. But how? Wait a second. Here's a box that I already packed, and I, I know I don't want to do this, but I will. I'm going to unpack it because, oh, look, yes, here's some lights. And this we can give to each of our friends to remind them that Jesus is the light of the world and that they can take it and they can brighten the world one light at a time. So can we have our friends come on down and see Jesus, the Christ that was born to us? Kids, come and see the Christ child. Jesus is born for us. Let us go out into this night, this holy night, knowing that God so loved the world that God gave his son Jesus for us. So let us go share the light, share the love, and let us celebrate. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. May God bless you and keep you and give you peace now and always. Amen.